Okay guys, today on Chris Does What? If you have a Acer computer, like I do, and um, all of a sudden it either shuts off and you can't turn it back on, or it, you just you turn it off and you can't power it back on, I'll show you something to check. So, let's get into it. Okay, so if you're looking at the bottom of your computer like we are here, you'll notice that you can't take the battery out of the ASUS computer. And this is, this is a good thing and a bad thing. The great thing is you never have to worry about the battery falling out, things like that. It's always there. The bad thing is there's no way to remove power from this laptop completely because you can't pull the battery out of it. And so what I'm going to show here is how to disconnect the battery and uh, so you can maybe help alleviate a problem you may have. So you'll notice on the bottom here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. So you have to remove all these screws. They're all the same size, so don't worry about that. Okay, once you have all the screws out, you'll have to pry this up. If you have nails, you can usually get under it and pull it off. If not, slide a pocket knife or something under there to pull it off. And this thing just pops off. Once you have it open, you'll see the internals of the computer. So here is our, our, our cooling fan for our CPU. Here is our hard drive, motherboard. Here's the battery. And uh, this is what we want to address. To pull the battery out, you simply, there's a little latch right here. I'm not going to touch it because the power is on. But right there, slide that back and then this will pop up. And uh, I left this thing without power overnight. So I could, uh, because I tried pulling the power and then putting it back on immediately, didn't fix the problem. I was so frustrated I just left it apart and came back to it in the morning. But, came back in the morning, plugged it back in, plugged the power up to it, and everything worked. I was happy, I went through and did my uh, computer maintenance and backed up my computer, of course. Always have a valid backup of your computer. That is probably the, the, the biggest thing I was worried about was losing any information I had. And you can either back it up manually or there are open source programs you can use to back it up. Once you have that reset and say you can try plugging it back in immediately or leave it unplugged overnight and then plug it back in the morning. But once that's done, then you want to put your computer back together again. So, and this is simple. You just take this lid. You have these little things. I have one over here I lost. But these little things that have to slide in here or else like if I'm looking at it on my desk I see light shining through now. No big deal. This computer is about two years old and it's what I used to make my videos on so I just wanted it to work. So you just pop this sucker back on here and you put all the screws in. The reverse of what you did to take it apart. Now if your computer's powered on like mine was, you probably don't need to do this. But if you have a problem and you don't want to send it off to Acer for them to charge you $80 to look at it and then make up what the solution was, 
like a motherboard, $500. A hard drive, Acer charges a hundred, I think probably $200. Uh, things like that. Don't do it. And while you're in here, if you want to, um, if your computer is working, you can easily upgrade to that solid state hard drive or put some more memory in here or whatever you want to do. The, the size of your computer is your limit. But the biggest thing is have external hard drive for your computer to back up because like most people, their, their most important asset on their computer is their information. Okay guys, so if this was helpful and you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It's right down there. If you like this channel and uh, the content I produce, give, uh, subscribe. If you don't like this video or you think uh, I was misguiding people on how to disconnect the power on their ASUS laptop, leave comments below. Thank you. Please take care.